Now, there are heightened concerns of fresh political turmoil in Thailand today, one day after Prime Minister Ingluck Shinawat was ousted by the country's constitutional court. Ingluck's supporters have turned out in force to defend her, while her opponents say they will keep pushing for reforms. Connie Lee has this report. About a thousand anti-government protesters joined in on a march in Bangkok on Wednesday, welcoming the verdict that forced Prime Minister Ying Lok Shinawat to step down. She has never shown any responsibility as Prime Minister. She should have left a long time ago. I'm so happy that the court acted justly. The anti-government protesters weren't alone on the streets, though. Supporters of the ousted prime minister also gathered and said there would be no political vacuum in her absence. Her supporters are planning a mass rally on the outskirts of Bangkok this weekend in an area where anti-government protesters have also staged rallies. It's raising concerns of violent clashes. The U.S. has called for a peaceful solution to the current crisis, suggesting elections and elected government. Thailand's commerce minister has been appointed the acting prime minister until elections can be held, likely sometime in July. Thailand's constitutional court ousted Yingluck and nine cabinet members on Wednesday for abuse of power. The ruling follows six months of political deadlock and represents a victory for Yingluck's detractors, who have been trying to get her out of office. The ousted prime minister at a press conference after the ruling denied any wrongdoing. I insisted that we have used honesty to administer the country, and we have never done anything that conveys any dishonest actions as accused. Yingluck's legal troubles aren't yet over. The country's National Anti-Corruption Commission is expected to hand down a verdict later this month. And if Yingluck is found guilty, she faces a five-year ban from politics. Connie Lee, Arirang News.